Let's talk about post-grad life because no one talks about it. I'm gonna share what I've been doing for the past year since I graduated college and hopefully share some tips that I wish someone told me when I was about to graduate from school because, oh my God, you're like an adult after college. I graduated December 2020 with a BA in advertising and a minor in graphic design. If you guys wanna go back and relive my college days, I will have the playlist linked up here and down below in the description box. So I graduated a semester early, so I gave myself six months to the point of when I would have actually graduated in May of 2021 to have that time to figure out what the heck I wanted to do with my life. As many young 20 year olds do. So if we backtrack, I actually had a job offer in November of 2020, which I ended up resending my offer letter because it just wasn't something that I felt I actually wanted to be doing with my life. It was more of a sales role in what felt to me like a multi-level marketing scheme kind of company. The whole like interview process was just a little wonky to me, so I ended up resending my offer letter because I just, in my gut, I knew it was wrong and I didn't want to do it. And a lot of people say, oh, never resend an offer letter. Like, that just looks so bad. Which, yes, it can, depending how you go about it, but essentially I just said, hey, I actually took some more time to think about it and I don't think this is the best fit for me at this point right now. Thank you so much for your time and consideration and all that kind of stuff. Plus, the way a lot of careers work is you have the overarching kind of like title so i have advertising and there's a million branches you could possibly go into when you graduate or even something else that's unrelated to your actual degree so i knew right then and there i didn't want to be in the sales world of advertising so even if i did burn a bridge which i don't think i did i already know that field x nay for me it's not on my list i'm not interested in it so it really doesn't matter in december of 2020 tiktok was really growing hot cocoa bombs were really popular so i just started making them for fun with my boyfriend my cousin my aunt and it kind of just kicked off from there during 2020 with the whole pandemic you know a lot of our neighbors that did have bigger families that they couldn't see and we would just drop off trays of cookies to some of our friends families and neighbors to just do something fun for the holidays to give a little joy we did that and that's kind of what kicked it off and it kind of just went from there while I was searching for a job so I guess you could say my aunt and I actually accidentally started a bakery post-grad so it was definitely a fun hobby and fun little side hustle to do at the time since I was unemployed so we were doing that and then in about March I was like okay love my family appreciate that I can live here but I need to move out of my own again because I'm very independent I like having my own space I'm an only child it's probably one of the only children like issues I might have but I just started looking at different apartments to rent, houses to buy, and I know buying a house is something that is not normal at all, especially for someone my age at the time. I was 21, now I'm 23, but I worked with our family realtor and we kind of just did it just to get the ball rolling. I did not expect to actually go through and buy a house. I will also have all of my house searching, moving content linked down below as well for you guys to watch. But during the time of baking and making TikToks for fun, searching for apartments and houses to rent or buy, and then in March was when I was starting to hit those final round interviews for a couple different companies and agencies. I ended up receiving two different offers from two agencies. Obviously picked one and started working as a media associate and I started in April doing that. And then since I knew I had a standard nine to five salary job, you know, I was still doing the bakery for fun, but it definitely got put on the back burner a little bit. But somehow we still managed to grow. We would see 100 views, then 1,000 views, and then 10,000 views. We have one with a million, and I really don't understand why. That one out of all the videos has a million, but it does but obviously that was kind of my normal nine to five day, doing that kind of stuff. And then I wanna say around May or June, I really can't remember, I was laying down in bed one night and I saw a townhouse that was available that I had previously seen. I texted my realtor and I was like, let's just go see it. And then at some point in the early spring, I submitted an offer and July 1st, I closed on this place. Don't get emotional, don't get emotional. And then they accepted my offer and we went under contract. July 1st, this place was mine. I wanna do a house tour with all of my furniture for the most part. But yeah, in July, I bought a house, which is insane. 
And then all of summer we did a bunch of renovations on the place and I moved in in September and then I was still working the 9 to 5 and doing the bakery that was definitely still the side hustle that was consuming a lot of our time because we started to work with event planners and we've had wedding orders, bat mitzvahs, birthdays, baby showers. I'm pretty sure we've hit almost every single event possible to have desserts at. We've done, which is mind-blowing. But then towards the end of the year, I just wasn't happy in my corporate 9 to 5 job. And I feel like a lot of people don't talk about post-grad and what it's really like and I feel like the biggest thing that I've seen among my friends is one of two things. So the first one is my friends that have been in their first post-grad job, three, six, nine, whatever months it is, have quit and have went elsewhere already because it was something they didn't enjoy. And they have moved on to bigger and better things. And then the other half of my friends also do not like their nine to five job and they are looking to transition to a different role somewhere else doing something different. So if you are about to graduate, I want to be glass half full, but sometimes it's just not exactly what you expect. And that's kind of the position I was in with my job as a media associate. And just the day-to-day -day was a bit more investment based than anything fun, strategic, creative, you know, just wasn't my thing. I think the work world is definitely changing, but You've always been told, oh, don't quit a job before a year. You know, it looks bad. But at the end of the day, I wasn't really happy with what I was doing. It was okay. It was fine. People were good. The actual benefits and all that, you know, it was good. It was fine. But it didn't excite me. And if you're somebody post-grad right now sitting at your job and you don't like what you're doing, I would recommend not quitting until you find another opportunity. But look for other opportunities. The best time to get a new job is while you have a job. And at the end of the day, whether you're there for three months, six months, nine months, five, ten years, whatever it is, in the nicest way possible, we're all easily replaceable. As much as it might seem or feel bad that you're leaving a job you just started, if it's not for you, it's not for you. If you don't like it, you don't like it. You know, you can stick it out, but if you're going to be unhappy and if you know it's not something you want to do, like the main reason I was like, okay, I'm going to quit this job is because I would look at my superiors and see what they're doing during their day and it didn't interest me. It wasn't what I saw for myself in my career. So my one glass half full friend had a job post-grad that she absolutely loved. And every time we would go out to dinner, we would talk about, you know, our lives and work and all that kind of stuff. And she spoke very highly of what she was doing. And so she was like, hey, do you want me to give a recommendation? I think you'd be really good for this job. And I want to say that was maybe at like about six months, maybe a little less. And I was like, no, like, I don't want to quit just yet. But I was teetering the idea. You know, I was LinkedIn stalking a little bit. I hadn't submitted any, you know, applications yet, but... Eventually, I was like, okay, screw it. So I gave her my resume. She talked to her team. And towards the end of the year, I was connected with her company, started talking to different people and recruiters. And um, end of December, I sent in my two-week notice for my first job post-grad. And it was absolutely terrifying, but I lived. For whatever reason, it's in your mind that it's going to be the worst possible case scenario. They're going to get mad. They're going to be upset, whatever it might be. And maybe, you know, maybe they were like internally, but no one's going to show it. And they were like, okay, we respect your decision. You know, here's the steps to resign and turn everything in and final payment and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, I'm never going to have to do a budget sheet again. I'm never going to have to do this anymore. And I'm like, okay, that door has closed. And so now it is 2022. I'm still a homeowner. I'm an influencer partnerships coordinator. Obviously, I have worked on the influencer side for God knows how many years. You know, I literally changed a whole college course. I've spoken to college classes about it, and it's something that I'm actually passionate about. And you know, I'm very grateful that my friend pushed me to let her give my name to her manager, and it just got the ball rolling. So hopefully in the future, my goal of this channel is to continue to post on it, to share my experiences being post-grad and what it's actually like and how to manage my money as an adult and pay off bills in a mortgage or if you have rent, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, we're like actually adulting now, so it's crazy, but I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>